Hey everybody, it's Jim with Behemoth Drivetrain, and today I've got our lead assembly technician, Cody Shepard, with us. And Cody is going to show us how to install the Behemoth Drivetrain Twin Stick Flip Kit on your Dana 300. Let's get started. First step, drain your oil and remove your yokes. Then, we're going to take these bolts out of the oil pan cover. Yep. We're going to use a half inch socket to remove these bolts. Next step, we're going to remove the oil pan. Then we're going to remove this bolt that retains the center pin. Okay. Now we're going to head over to our press and remove our center pin. If you don't have a press, you can always use a hammer. We are going to use our press to press out our center pin. We have designed a special dummy pin that is undersized for use in pressing out your center pin on the Dana 300. This specialized dummy pin easily pressed out the center pin, and as it does, so it holds your needle bearings inside the gears, making rebuilds a lot easier. The Behemoth Dummy Pin is available for purchase on the product option section of the Twin Stick Flip Kit page, or in the kit section of, the, of our product catalog. You can see our dummy pin is holding the needle bearings inside the gears while our center pin is removed. Now, we're going to grab a couple feet of wire to use to pull the gears out. The dummy pin is a great tool to use whether you are installing a twin stick flip kit or if you're doing a stock Dana 300 rebuild. Now, make sure you remove your two thrust washers inside the case and set them aside. Next, we need to remove the two set screws that hold the shift forks onto the shift rails this is a tight fit and you need a 3 16 Allen to remove the set screws. Now it is time to remove the bolts holding on the stock retainer and remove the retainer. Take note of the terrible condition the shift rails are in. Shift rails are outdated technology from more than half a century ago, and that's why Behemoth has abandoned it in all of its product designs for a modern shifting system using a rotary detent system with billet steel shift forks and case hardened detents. Since the set screws are out, this should come out with a little bit of wiggling. Now that we have this removed, you can see where the set screws were that, were that we removed earlier. Now throw this outdated piece of junk in the trash.
Now it is time to remove the stock shift forks. A secret to removing these is to first position the shift collars in the rearmost position. Then you have just enough clearance to remove the forks. The rear output is the hardest of the two forks to remove. We will start by removing the first fork, which should come out easily. Remove this fork and replace it to the side. Now you can remove the rear output fork. To do this, shove it towards the side of the rear output as much as possible. Then twist and swing the fork up and out. Next, we need to take the flip kit's front output retainer and insert a bearing race. You can choose to use a new bearing race or use the race that was in the original stock retainer that we threw away earlier. We also include a seal with your kit that will be inserted at this point as well. Some people choose to tap the seal in with a hammer, but we are going to choose to put it in with the press. Next, install your output retainer using the gaskets and button head bolts included in your hardware kit. Tighten these to approximately 30 foot-pounds of torque. The design of the behemoth retainer completely covers and seals off the holes where the old shift drills were. Now that we have our front output secured, the next step is to reinstall our center gear. First, tap the center pin slightly into the case so it pushes through just enough to hold the thrust washer in place. Tap it until it protrudes about an eighth of an inch inside the case. Now install the thrust washer around the center pin. To, to best hold the thrust washer in position after they are inserted, coat the back with a thick, goopy grease so they stick to the inside of the body case. Also, make sure the tab of the washer lines up with the notch in the case. This is extremely critical. Okay. To install the center gear, we will install it with the same method that we used to remove it. Grab your length of wire, loop it around the center gear, and slowly lower it into position. Again, the behemoth dummy pin is holding all of your needle bearings firmly in place to make sure that this install is exceptionally easier. Now gently tap the pin into place.
Now gently tap the pin into place. Now we are actually going to backtrack a little and remove the output retainer we put on earlier. Installing it in the previous step allowed us to keep the front output gear stable while we installed the center gear. Now to install the lid of your flip kit, we need a little extra clearance. So we're going to remove the outer, the output retainer and also the stock output rear cover. output rear cover this is a great opportunity to upgrade with the behemoth drivetrain front output rear cover kit or you can always use your disgusting old cover and shims with those removed make sure your lid is shifted into neutral position make sure your collars are both in neutral position install the gasket Start by inserting the fork for your rear output first. As the fork slides into place over the collar, then you can begin aligning the rear output color collar into place. Please note, this is a tight fit. It may take a little work to get the forks to slide into position. Now, reinstall your front output cover. Now, install your bolts to hold your cover in place. Now, reinstall your front output retainer. Now, with that last step complete, your flip kit install is done.